Bro, we listen to that song, Bump, 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 by B2K, okay? Where Diddy is basically doing the ad libs on the song. All right, so I heard it today, all right? First time in a really, 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 necessarily long time, randomly popped up. And I was just like, bro, these ad libs are suspicious. Aren't these children? They're children. Oh, no, I didn't like it. But anyway, listen. Um, this is a suggestion via Discord. Uh, 10 disturbing Diddy interviews because of what we know now. Let's see. Let's check it out. <laughs> Let's do it, guys. Let's do it. Those oh, coming from the channel, Miss Mojo. Relationships get ugly, you know, and sometimes it doesn't come out into the forefront the way this one has come out. Welcome to Ms. Mojo. And today, okay. we're rewinding several interviews that retroactively left us asking, what Hello, did Emily. Diddy say? You gonna hear about my party? They're gonna be shutting them down. They're gonna probably be arresting me, doing all types of crazy things just because right. you want to have a good time. Mm. Representing <laughs> the Wendy Williams show. Right. After Hot 97 fired Wendy Williams in 1998, she accused I Sean P. Diddy Combs of using his money and influence to quote try to crush her in New York. Almost two decades after their beef started, Williams welcomed Diddy onto her talk show, seemingly on good terms. I know. I pissed a lot of people off, including you. Mm -hmm. But this is a full circle moment, yes, everybody. Yes. Get into adult yeah. conversation. Yeah, yeah. It's full circle. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. While Diddy presents himself as someone who's matured into a role model, several moments are now traced with irony. Right, Williams inquires about Diddy's lifestyle and the people he surrounds himself with, asking if they, quote, violate him. She meant financially, they but her phrasing him. proved prognostic. You threw a house party and I got the <laughs> footage. Okay, look at this. Now, who has this many people at their house? Puff and uh, I would never Sean, want that. Diddy, duty, what do I call you? Duty. Interesting. <laughs> Diddy later discusses setting a positive example for African American males and his charter school capital prep. Diddy's partnership with the school unsurprisingly ended in November 2023. Well, take your hand off that kid. Take it off. A sexual assault accusation surfaced. Our children are expected not just to learn to read, write, and compute, but to use that which they've learned to improve their community. Defending Justin Bieber, Access okay. Hollywood. The allegations against Diddy have made people reassess his relationships with several young protégés, including Justin Bieber. Diddy's 48 hours with Bieber in particular isn't as cool as it seemed in 2009. Where we hanging out and what we doing, um, we, we can't really disclose. But um, it's definitely a 15-year-old's dream. Although Diddy is in trouble with the really? law now, the positions were reversed in 2014 when Bieber got arrested for a DUI. Diddy defended Bieber in an Access Hollywood interview. He acknowledged that the pop star had made mistakes, but Diddy vowed to help him stay, quote, on the right track. I, I, I don't think that he um, should, should be judged like he's not a human being or he's not a teenager that has to... Hit some stumbling blocks. Yeah, I'm sorry, bro. Listen, if you're out here, if you are drinking copious of alcohol, okay, and then you get into a car, nah, bro, throw the book at you. I don't care who you are. I don't care your age. That doesn't matter, bro. You risk the life of every single person on that street, okay? Be honest. Like, these are some of the worst, the worst humans you can imagine. You only care about yourself. You, you don't. You, you don't care about a single thing around you. You're willing to risk the life of someone else because you like drinking. Nah, bro, you don't defend people who, who risk the lives, unknowingly risk lives. Bro, no, 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 no. Human being or knowingly. not a teenager that has to hit some stumbling blocks. You know what I'm saying? It's just not fair to, to make him a perfect human being. Fast forward almost okay. a decade, Bieber's arrest feels innocent compared to Combs's. Bieber wasn't as quick to rush to Diddy's defense. A source claims that Bieber doesn't want to focus on Diddy's scandal instead dedicating his time to being, quote, a great dad and husband. Does he want to have, you know, any affiliation with any of this? No, but I think that even for him, where he is in his life right now, I think it is a smart thing for him to just not even get involved in anything. Keep JLo's name out your mouth, Jimmy Kimmel Live. In late 2023, shortly before Cassie Ventura filed her lawsuit against Diddy, the rapper sat down with Jimmy Kimmel. The host asked about a rumor circulating amid the release of Jada Pinkett Smith's memoir, Worthy. According to somebody claiming to be Diddy's former security guard, Will and Jada wanted to have a threesome with Jennifer Lopez. Diddy was dating Lopez at the time. 
allegedly threatening to beat up Will Smith. Hearing Kimmel relay this tale, Diddy initially responded with a stone-cold stare. He quickly changed his tune, laughing it off and denying such gossip. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Jimmy, Jimmy, I thought we was friends. What did this? Whether yeah, or not this yeah, bro, he's, you, you could always tell a liar, right? I'm sorry, bro. The expression on your face dictates to me that you you said all of that, bro. Right? We we believe we believe the the you know the the memoir. The story is completely fabricated. It's far from the most shocking thing Diddy has been accused of. Right. It's it not. isn't the most bonkers story involving Will and Jada either. No, it's I'm, all about no, love, though. That's no, not true. You you really heard that? No. What? Yeah, yeah. Hands yeah. to yourself, Diddy. The Keenan Ivory Wayne oh, show. Oh, this is a wild one, if bro. You had Pete watch Diddy and Mike Tyson. Watch Diddy's room, hand. Chances watch are we'd be more intimidated by the heavyweight champion. Now we'd be more concerned for Tyson's well-being. Watch the hand. In watch 1998, the, hand. the two appeared Was on heavy Keenan D? Ivory Wayne's short-lived talk show. If you're curious about the pairing, the boxer wanted to start a music company. Okay. People can help me out. Um, Wycliffe can help me out. Devontae Swing can help me out. And hopefully Puffy can help me out. You know. <laughs> While much of the interview feels casual, a blink and you'll miss okay. a dose of awkwardness nah. occurs Watch his hand. hand gets a little too close to Tyson. Wearing a grin, Tyson removes Diddy's hand before scooching away. But it was like, I just felt, I was embarrassed for like weeks. It, 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 it truly is about the Benjamin, as we see. Oh yes, he's, he's glittering. It's truly is about the Perhaps we're reading too much into this gesture, but to say- Nah, <laughs> no, no, pay attention. So, so Mike Tyson says, hey, listen, I want to get into the music industry. And then he randomly touches, touches Diddy, right? Not inappropriately, he just you know, the type of conversation. So then Diddy is like, "Oh, you want to get into the industry? Well, this is how." Then this man drops his hand. <laughs> For that's a wild one. Say that Diddy has been accused of invading personal space would be an understatement. Watching this makes us almost as uncomfortable as Tyson. Right. So what are you doing, man? Let's talk about this guy. Yeah, let's let's, let's talk about Puff. Seventy-three questions with Sean Diddy Combs, Vogue. Vogue's 73 Question series allows viewers to connect with celebrities on a more personal level. Admittedly, a lot of these interviews are presented through stunning. a rose-tinted lens. Nowhere is that more apparent than in Diddy's interview. Love, how do you describe yourself? Uh, I'm vivacious. Did you just call him Love? Eccentric, and I'm a Scorpio. In 2017, okay. the video presents Diddy in a down-to-earth light. On the heels of his 2024 arrest, though, some of Diddy's responses feel like setups for punchlines that late night hosts would have a field day with. Now you've gone on the record saying that your white party is up there with the top three that you've ever thrown for people. What are the other two? I would say when I got my star on Hollywood, I had a party. Mm -hmm. And this year at Burning Man at an undisclosed location. To name a few, Diddy describes himself okay. as, quote, eccentric, says that there are, quote, no misconceptions about him, and claims, quote, compassion is his best personal trait. Diddy also brings up love several times, even asking the interviewer to refer to him by that name. Okay. Oh, and his dream collaboration would be with Michael Jackson. Why? I mean, it's My Michael Jackson, man. <laughs> <laughs> Who wouldn't? The Princes and Puffy, The Graham Norton Show. Okay. Many famous names have, quote, unquote, party with Diddy over the years. Not every invitee showed up, however. In 2011, Graham Norton asked about a rumor that Diddy wanted Princes William and Harry to attend one of his parties. Diddy assured Norton that they were no longer on the list. Not anymore. I mean, before, you know. <laughs> yeah. Don't you know, ruin our no, royal yeah, wedding yeah, for I, us. I know. <laughs> Trust me, they're off the list. This was seemingly because William was about to marry Catherine Middleton, but Diddy's clumsy word choice turned this clip into certified cringe. Did yeah, you made it bad, bro. To party with the princes when they were quote young bucks growing up. Oh my God! I can just go over for some tea or something, and we could kick mm. it. Since the princes had something of a reputation for getting into trouble, did he thought they'd quote want to hang out? Given what allegedly went down at numerous puffy parties, did he might have felt more at home with Prince Andrew? Going to um, Jeffrey's was not about partying. Absolutely not any interviews with Cassie. Throughout their relationship, Diddy and Cassie Ventura accompanied each other to various red carpet events. Even when flying solo, Diddy and Cassie would often speak adoringly of each other. Um, the birthday party was incredible. Um, you 
you know, um, she's such a special person. On the surface, the two looked like the epitome of a glamorous couple. That illusion was shattered when Cassie sued Combs for a, quote, cycle of abuse, violence, and sex trafficking that allegedly lasted almost a decade. If I'm on her uh, team as her attorney, I'm making it clear that that's what happened here, that the relationship started out good, but gradually it got worse and worse to the point that she was caught in this vicious cycle. Uh, she was caught under his thumb. Some of Cassie's claims were supported by video evidence. Right. After Don't show the video, footage, please. It's impossible to look back on any of their interviews together. Not on YouTube. Together, the same Not on YouTube. Again. Don't show it. The most disheartening example may have been at the 2018 <sighs> Met Gala, where Liza Koshy asked Cassie if there was anything she'd like to confess. I keep everything right here. She looked at him. Or right here. There you go. That's how you do it. Cassie wouldn't keep quiet. He looked off. It much longer. Chris Brown, Rihanna, and Diddy too. The Ellen okay. DeGeneres Show. Few could have predicted that P. Diddy and Ellen DeGeneres would both be problematic figures by 2024. Diddy dropped by DeGeneres's what happened to Ellen? show multiple times. Puffy parties were a popular topic. Ellen even invited him to one of her parties. You know I have to arrive fashionably late. All right. Not too late, though. Not too late? Not too late, please. What time would you like me to? Um, I'll tell you later. Okay. But okay. not too late. Because, because you know, once you get there, the party really starts. In an especially unsettling really? interview from 2009, the generous asked Diddy about Rihanna and does she know about it? Chris Brown, the latter of whom had been accused of domestic violence. Diddy reportedly lent Brown his Miami mansion, supposedly attempting to help reconcile his relationship with Rihanna. If I could be there, is it Rihanna or Rihanna? All right, is it just her pronunciation that's throwing me off, bro? As a friend during hard times, mm -hmm. then I'm gonna be there as a friend. Right. But I don't know the exact particulars. I didn't get into it. I'm not gonna do this or do that. It's, it was a dark, it's a dark time for them, and I was there more as a support. Diddy didn't deny these claims, saying that he could lend his house to whoever he wanted. While Diddy condemned violence, he argued that stones shouldn't be thrown without all the facts. Unlike Diddy, Brown notably pleaded guilty to his assault charges. From there, I said, you know what, I'll just, I'm going to just take everything and I just come my consequences for my actions have to be dealt with. Lock the doors. Late night with Conan O'Brien. Between Danny Masterson and P. Diddy, celebs should be careful what they tell Conan O'Brien. It may come back to haunt them years later. In Diddy's case, Conan spoke with the rapper in 2002. Now, what are you, you're legendary for the parties that you throw. Mm -hmm. You throw a great party. Is this all that he's known for, bro? Or I mean, legend, okay. baby, for a whole bunch of there has to be Brian something else, to learn bro. The key to throw I mean, obviously, the Bad Boy Records and the whole '90s music era, we get that, right? But it seems like every single person that encounters him only has things to say regarding his parties, bro. A puffy party. Diddy provided a detailed list that included beautiful ladies, beautiful men, booze, water, and quote locks on the doors. Conan brought the interview to a brief halt, questioning if Diddy's parties were safe. No, no, I wasn't saying, no, it was a new, it was a new Sean, party. you're in my house now, you see. Please, you stumbled into my please, house. Please, It's okay. The mic is fine. fake. Okay, cool. Let me just, please let me finish. Okay. Diddy it's not going to be fine. He admitted that the locks were a little, quote, kinky, although there might be another word for it. Maybe Diddy intended this as a joke, but considering everything that's been reported about it's his real. parties as of late, we this believe answer it. comes off as brutally honest. Um, you know, everybody gets a little bit more comfortable and loose. Builds up a nice, nice little sweat. Okay. That just sounds disgusting. It what does. It does. Depends on it's the way smelly. You look at it. Before we continue, be sure I to can't, I can't look at it any other way than how you just delivered it, bro. Subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos wait, 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 wait. about our latest videos. Okay. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Puffy's Party Premonition, Entertainment Tonight. In 2001, Diddy spoke with Entertainment Tonight about his gun trial, calling it, quote, a scary situation. You know, 12 people who uh, um, hold the fate of your life. Um, but, you know, I put it in God's hands. Two years earlier, Diddy gave another interview that foreshadowed his current legal situation. Diddy claimed he couldn't get a permit for his parties, although this wouldn't stop him from throwing them. He suspected that eventually the authorities would arrest him for trying to, quote, have a good time. 
Whenever you bring up a different element into people's environment, things that broaden people's horizon, people get intimidated. There's a lot of people out there that feel intimidated by it. 25 years after this. I'm definitely very glad that his, um, his diction got better over the years. This interview, Diddy was charged with several serious crimes. Right. This includes sex trafficking, which extends okay. to his alleged freak-off parties. Okay, stop saying Seen that word. this video entering the Park Hyatt Hotel in Midtown Manhattan with others when agents from Homeland Security Investigations approach and separate him. Combs has pleaded not guilty, and time will only tell if the verdict will be in his favor. Given the toll the scandal has already taken on his reputation, though, the party may be over for good. Beyond what the people know about, all of the extra stuff that people don't even know about, or people that are close to you don't even know about, and it just sometimes, it just feels like, you know, you, you want to give up. What do you think is Diddy's most notorious interview? Let us know in the comments. Who's the person that's number one on that invitation list? Leonardo DiCaprio. Do you agree with our picks? All right, bro. All right. All right. I mean, there's a lot of these. Okay. And I'm sure if we actually you know, dig deep and, and re-listen to music, even again, I started this by ta telling you that I just recently heard "Bump, Bump, Bump" uh, by the artist, by the the collective for B2K. They were children at the time, and listen to the ad libs. Right? Re-listen to that song right now in 2024 on September 29th, or by the time you see it, 30th. Okay. I want you to listen to that song. They were kids, bro. All right. That's a wild one. Now, listen, obviously, every single thing, every single bit of this is obviously all allegedly, right? These are not things that um, anyone can actually sit here and, and talk about um, like it's fact, right? Because we only know what we're shown and what we see, right? And based off of the sheer amount of what we have all seen and heard, um, it's absolutely befuddling that this could actually have happened and there's and this person is still walking free, right? So it makes all the sense in the world um, that his $50 million bail or bond package was denied Denied, right? It makes all the sense in the world if these things are true, the things that you did. Bro, listen, that hotel video by itself? Yeah, I'm done, bro. There's not much you can say. Like, I'm being honest. It's like, what can you say about that? You have someone walking away, running away, and you drag them back? What do you, I mean, nah, bro, you're a monster. That, that's, that's monster activity. That's monster activity. If, if someone wants to go, let them go. You're too rich for this, bro. I'm telling you. But either way, that's the only thing I think we know for a fact, bro. But all right, listen, you guys all have an absolutely amazing day. Enjoy your day thoroughly. Guys, before we go. Are you guys subscribed to the other channels? Logical Movie Reviews with Mr. L. Boyd along with Mr. L. Boyd Music. Both are found in the description. Check it out.